There are elephants alive today in the game reserves of Tanzania simply because of the life and work of one man. Wayne Lotter was one of the world's leading animal conservationists until he fell victim himself to what was almost certainly a poacher's bullet last week. He'd received many death threats in the past and today it was Mr Lotter's memorial service. The ivory trade is full of crooks and killers, but Wayne Lotter had the courage to take them on. As a child, he would gaze in wonder at the elephants which roamed his native South Africa, and he spent his life trying to protect them, a life which was celebrated today at a memorial in Tanzania. Wayne was able to build bridges and work with people that people in the limelight will never even know about, and I don't know how we replace him. Lotta's strategy was to take down those at the top of the ivory trade. He was largely responsible for funding and training the Tanzania Anti-Poaching Task Force, filmed here arresting suspects on a night raid. Several gangs which deal in ivory have been broken up because of his work. One of those arrested was Yang Fung Glan, the so-called ivory queen, who's accused of running one of Africa's biggest ivory smuggling rings. We need people like Wine Rota who goes for prevention, who believes that we need to, to do actions, not words. Are we really going to allow the biggest mammal on earth to disappear? Lotta's work featured in the recent documentary film The Ivory Game. He set himself against the powerful and the corrupt and regularly received death threats. He was shot dead in a taxi on his way back from the airport in Dar es Salaam last week. Police are investigating whether his murder was in fact an assassination, organised by one of the ruthless enemies he made. A ruthlessness which has seen the elephant population in Tanzania fall by half in the last 10 years. He set up a foundation with fellow conservationist Chrissy Clark to fight the poachers by getting local people on side. I was very fortunate to be able to work with him, have him as a mentor, and also have him as my, my closest and best friend. Um, I, uh, he's really left a big hole in my heart. In Southern Africa, they talk about the war against the poachers. One side has lost one of its heroes, but the fight goes on. Geraint Vincent, News at 10.